So I got three tips for you to start taking better photographs right away. Okay, so tip number one is gonna be to start using the rule of third. Stop putting the horizon in the middle of the frame. You're gonna wanna put it up slightly high or slightly low so that the foreground takes up one third of the screen and maybe the sky takes up two thirds or vice versa. Um, either way, stop putting things in the center or if you do, just at least plan on cropping it later so that the rule of thirds is applied. So how do you know if you're doing it right? Uh, go into your settings on your camera, enable the grid right away, and most of the time you're gonna end up with what looks like a tic-tac-toe pattern. And let's say you're taking a picture of your dog sitting in the grass or some other subject, move them slightly to the left or slightly to the right on one of those lines that are going vertically through the screen and line them up right about there. Or use those horizontal lines as a guide to place your horizon. Uh, you know, if it's a sunset, maybe you want less foreground. So put your foreground in the bottom third and the sunset in the top two thirds of the screen. Either way, you do this right away if you haven't already and you're gonna start taking better pictures. Now that you've identified this, when you look at other photos, keep an eye out for this. You're gonna see it used all the time. Okay, so tip number two is my biggest pet peeve. If you are taking pictures right now and your horizon is crooked, stop doing it right away. And I can't even get past it. It's the biggest distraction. Make sure when you do take a picture, your horizon is as level as possible. And for a frame of reference, when you're holding your camera in landscape or in portrait, just use the top border to parallel it to the horizon. As long as the edges of your screen are parallel with the horizon, a lot of times you're gonna be pretty close there. But not to worry, if you screw it up in camera, you could adjust it in post by rotating your image until the horizon is flat, no big deal. Um, also, in your camera settings, oftentimes they have a level that you can enable so you can look at the back of display and determine when exactly your camera is exactly level and your horizon will be straight. So number two is to always shoot with a straight and level horizon. Number three, I can't think of a better example than where I'm at right now. And that is when you find a subject or you find something that you wanna take a picture of, look for leading lines. I'm gonna take a step back for you one second just so you could see this in practice. This bridge, for example. So as you see, you know, I'm standing down here and it makes for a much more interesting uh, image if you have some lines converging towards it. And these will naturally draw closer together the further they get. So placing your subject next to some of this, it's great for portraits, having somebody maybe stand on a bridge or you know whatever it is. But, but when you're out and you've identified your subject, walk around, take a look, find some leading lines. Triangles are great. Um, you know, keeping in mind, you know, the flat and level horizon, the uh, rule of thirds, and then putting all those together, identify some leading lines, bridges are great, um, you know, pathways, you know, like if you're on a hiking trail or a stream, water, those are great in landscapes, like leading to uh, some kind of delivery, whether, you know, if you're taking a landscape photo and you wanna shoot a mountain, if you have a nice river going up to that mountain, that's a perfect leading line. Leading lines, are what really draw people in and keep people looking at your photos longer. Okay, so that's all I've got for you today. If you're not subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you got some value out of this video, if you wouldn't mind just hitting that like button on the way out and letting me know if this helped you out in the comments. Other than that, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.